RH, TV2, Tulsa. Live from KJRH in Tulsa, Rocky Madden. Weather with Mike Morgan. And sports with Todd Whitthorn. This is New Center 2 Nightcast. Live from KJRH in Tulsa, Rocky Madden. Weather with Mike Morgan. And sports with Todd Whitthorn. This is New Center 2. Front straddling the TV2 viewing area right now, and areas to the north are seeing much drier and cooler readings like Ponca City and Bartlesville, but here in Tulsa, very hot and very humid, an incredible amount of moisture in the air, therefore the heat index, which is a combination of the temperature and the humidity, uh, as you can see, is an even 100 degrees. That's what it actually feels like outside, 102 in McAllister and 101 in Fort Smith. It looks like tomorrow heat indexes uh, once again near or just above 100 and then a break coming up toward the middle of the week. All right, Mike, thank you. Produced tornadoes? No, it, there's very little threat of tornadoes. However, we could see some hail and heavy rains in some of the storms tonight, but nothing particularly severe. All right, Michael, thank you. Okay. For now, good night from all of us at News Center 2. have a consumer complaint or a problem we can help you with, call the New Center 2 Troubleshooter at 742-NEWS. From the Five Alive News Center, Jennifer Eve and Jeff Mirasola, Mike Morgan's Weather, and Dick Pryor with Sports. This is Five Alive News Tonight. Tonight. No, I haven't seen you in a while. You have a nice Thanksgiving? I had a great time. Went, Went up to home. Tulsa, saw the family, had a wonderful time. I have the family here uh, bragging about Oklahoma weather around Thanksgiving time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's just a memory, though. Yeah. Much colder out there now. And some of the cold, well, in fact, the coldest weather we've seen so far this year is headed for Oklahoma. Hard freeze again across mm -hmm. the entire state and maybe even a few snowflakes across parts of Oklahoma tomorrow afternoon. Not much snow, but at any rate, the wind will have a definite bite again tomorrow. Right now in Oklahoma City, skies are partly cloudy out there and the temperature is dropping off 37 degrees. Our winds continue out of the northwest. At about 10 miles per hour this hour, humidity is still fairly high, 79%, some moisture lingering in Oklahoma. The pressure is 29.78 and rising, and a trace of light rain, especially over the northern parts of the metro around noon today. The morning low is 37. This afternoon's high temperature was 43. Normals for this date are 34 and 57, and the records 13 in 1975 and 81 back in 1910. Now, across Oklahoma, variable cloudiness, partly cloudy to cloudy, depending on where you are. Temperatures range from a very cold 30 degrees already this evening up in the Gage Woodward area to a much milder 52 down in the southeastern corner around Idabel. The mountains of southeastern Oklahoma are actually blocking the cold air from draining into the extreme southeastern parts of the state. But even uh, the folks down in the southeastern sections will see much colder temperatures by tomorrow. Everyone else is mostly in the mid-30s, 35 around Clinton and Weatherford, also down in Hobart, and even freezing this hour up in Alva. Now here's our satellite picture across the southern plains, taken as of 9 o'clock. Uh, low and some high-level cloudiness across Oklahoma. That was a back up to time about 2 o'clock uh, early this morning. We can see the thunderstorms rapidly move eastward out of the state through the lower and middle Mississippi Valley. Several tornadoes reported along with golf ball and larger size hail, especially in Mississippi this afternoon. A few scattered reports of damage in central Mississippi from some vigorous thunderstorms. You can see this is a very massive storm system stretching from really the Ohio Valley all the way out to almost the west coast, at least quite a ways uh, uh, west of the Rocky Mountain Divide. And there's one more little impulse now in the northern Rockies headed toward Oklahoma, and that impulse may actually spread some light snow across the extreme western parts of the state tomorrow afternoon, a dusting at the very, very most, but a few flurries of uh, snow perhaps even here in Oklahoma City by afternoon, but nothing major. A secondary... Now, here's that chilly forecast you can remember tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies and 41 degrees. It'll feel like 20, though. 
Sunshine and 45 on Monday after a morning low of 22 degrees here in central Oklahoma. Then partly cloudy with another front Tuesday afternoon, 45. That'll keep us uh, cool on Wednesday. Sunshine and 45. And then finally, perhaps maybe near 50 around here on Thursday with mostly sunny skies. So old man winter has certainly arrived in Oklahoma. Just memories of uh, that very warm Thanksgiving day. But you're not thinking of snowflakes at this point. Not any serious snowflakes. Perhaps one or two in the air. A couple of flakes. That's right. Okay. Thanks, Mike. You bet. Mike, we had some uh, some nice folks come in this afternoon. That's right, Jennifer. More toys to Toyland. Boy, we've got a bunch of them. Four-year-old Chase Healy came by and gave us the soccer ball, and along with his parents and his brother, a candy cane filled with candy. How about that, Jeff? It's oh, yeah. not yours. I'm going to give this to <laughs> your <West> <laughs> Cherokee <laughs> here, okay? But, oh, hey, we're doing great here. We appreciate all the help and encourage you to come on by and drop off more toys. You bet. All for the mayor's Christmas right. party. Right. What have you got for us tonight? In Oklahoma Pride tonight, some local independent contractors. Who would do that? You wouldn't do that, that. You wouldn't do that I would wouldn't you? do that, no. <laughs> no, I don't know. I saw a hatchet back there. I think they're looking for some greenery. Thanks for joining us tonight. See you tomorrow. Good evening, I'm Mike Morgan in the Five Alive Weather Center. No severe weather here in Oklahoma City, but several severe thunderstorms to our north and east. Radar right now shows one severe thunderstorm between Garber and Fairmount, east of Enid along Highway 64, moving into western Noble County, northwest of you folks in Perry. Another severe thunderstorm south of Granola and Fairfax and north of Pawnee, moving out of our viewing area. And a severe thunderstorm in southern sections of Tulsa, more thunderstorms are possible later on tonight as a tornado watch continues in effect until 4 o'clock in the morning. More coming up in just a few minutes on 5 Alive News tonight. Stay with us. We're in constant contact with several units. It's on the ground. It's in the rope stage, so it's a small rope-like tornado, but it's still on the ground headed down I-40 uh, toward uh, El Reno and Yukon and eventually Oklahoma City. So it's a uh, very potent situation uh, to our west. We'll show you radar here in just a few minutes. As of 6 p.m. here in Oklahoma City, we have mostly sunny skies, but I think I can tell you the thunderstorms have now turned that sunshine to gray. 85 degrees. The winds are breezy from the south. 20 gusting to 30. Humidity 63%. The pressure 29.63 and falling and no precipitation today. The high temperature 87 degrees after a muggy morning low of 73. Radar now. This is uh, the very important information here I need to pass along to you tornado warning in effect for central and western Canadian County tornado on the ground since 601 right on I-40 in extreme western Canadian County just east of the Hinton Road exit that's 281 and I-40 the storm you can see the hook right there in the back of it the tornado was right there it's moving due east at 25 miles per hour will eventually pass very close to El Reno you folks in El Reno are going to have some large hail possibly up to baseball size over the next 20 to 30 minutes and then behind the hail the tornado was back here uh, along I-40 about 15 miles to your west. The storm is tracking due east, and if it continues its current course and speed, it will be moving into the Yukon area right around 7 to 710, and possibly into the Oklahoma City metro area around Bethany, perhaps around 730 to 735. Now, it could weaken before then, but it is headed right toward uh, central and eastern Canadian County into Oklahoma County between now and 730 to 740. More tornado warnings now for Kingfisher County, a tornado confirmed near Omega, which is in western Kingfisher County. County about 20 minutes ago. This large severe thunderstorm is now centered over and just west of you folks in Kingfisher and Dover. It's also tracking toward the east, could produce lemon to baseball size hail as it tracks into western Logan County over the next 20 minutes. And another very severe storm now west of Marshall. Uh, moving into northern Logan County. That particular storm also shows rotation on 5 Alive Doppler radar as it tracks toward the east into northern Logan County. So three severe to potentially tornadic storms all lined up passing toward the east at 20 miles per hour. Another strong storm south of Lahoma could have some small hail as it passes near Wacomus, just south of you folks in Enid uh, during the next 30 minutes. Now, tornado watch in effect. <laughs> Jane Giroux. Tom McNamara, Mike Morgan's Weather, Dean Blevins Sports, and Ron Gosden's Business Report. This is 5 Alive News at 6. Mike?
Thank you very much, Jan. Yes, indeed, severe thunderstorms now moving into central Oklahoma. This is a picture taken from our Enid Bureau. You can see dark storm clouds as they move through Enid. About 10 to 20 minutes ago, that particular thunderstorm has now cleared Enid to the north and east. Let's go ahead and go back to live radar now. We do now have tornado warnings, folks. These are tornado warnings in effect for you folks in western Canadian County. Tornado now indicating going to the ground as we speak near the Hinton Road exit, Highway 66, I-35, and 281 in extreme northeastern Caddo County. That tornadic storm will track due east near Highway 66 and near Interstate 40 as it tracks due east into western Canadian County. Tornado warning also in effect for you folks in Kingfisher County. Confirmed tornado touchdown near Omega. That particular thunderstorm is now uh, west of Kingfisher and will pass very close to Kingfisher during the next 20 minutes. Another potentially tornadic storm just moving past Hennessy, tracking down Oklahoma Highway 51 into northern Logan County over the next 15 minutes. All storms are moving east at 20. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more updates. Tornado Alley. A path of danger and destruction that rips through Oklahoma every year. Are you prepared for the next tornado season? Do you know what to do when severe weather threatens your family, Get in the house. your home, your life? Do you know who to turn to when danger's on the horizon? Not been for Channel 5 and Mike staying on, it, uh, on the storm uh, that uh, we just wouldn't have had our kids. More Oklahomans are turning to Five Alive's Mike Morgan because they know here, minutes, even seconds, can make the difference between life and death. And they know only Mike Morgan has everything it takes to warn viewers in time, every time. If it wasn't for Channel 5, I'd be laying in this rubble out here. Five Alive meteorologist Mike Morgan, one of the nation's most experienced Doppler radar operators, a native Oklahoman and severe weather expert. To Mike, the wrath of Mother Nature is second nature. Because predicting dangerous weather takes more than knowledge, skill, and technology, it takes passion. The kind of passion that just prompted the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences to nominate Mike Morgan for an Emmy Award in weathercasting. And above all else, the kind of passion that lets Oklahomans know they can depend on Mike to get them through the storms. I haven't been to the cellar in a long time, and I got there, and I wouldn't have been there if it hadn't been for five lives. I said, hey, turn to local weather. There's something going on, and we turned to five, and, and he tracked it remarkably. We really trust you guys. People everywhere discovering Five Alive is the best source for accurate weather information. Research proves Mike Morgan consistently gives the most accurate forecast in your viewing area. Plus, the Five Alive Weather Center is backed up by the toughest, most knowledgeable storm spotting team in the state. So whenever severe weather's on the horizon, Five Alive's first alert storm team units spread out across Oklahoma. Under the precise direction of Mike Morgan, these highly trained teams are ready to tell you the moment a tornado touches the ground and where it's going. We have about a quarter mile wide tornado. It's now 200 yards west of Interstate 35. It's a very large, it's a very deadly tornado. It's now getting ready to cross Interstate 35. Mike Morgan is the only meteorologist in Oklahoma with first alert. A new innovative warning system which links Five Alive to the National Weather Service by satellite. This means Five Alive puts official warnings on your TV screen instantly. In fact, First Alert was developed in the Five Alive Weather Center and has also been nominated for an Emmy as a special achievement in engineering. So when the weather turns on you, depend on Five Alive and Mike Morgan. No other station is faster and no other meteorologist has what it takes to keep you out of danger. Mike Morgan, you saved my life. We folks in the immediate area uh, north of Hinton, I-40 up toward Gary and eventually just east of Greenfield. It's a dangerous storm. Watch it very carefully. We have three first alert storm team crews on the scene. We have a laminar funnel, uh, very narrow, uh, six north of Akarsi, looking northwest of our location, about three and a half to four miles. That radar straight. Let's do it. This is a tornado warning for you folks in western Garfield County, extreme eastern major county. Doppler 5 right now shows a tornado on the ground just northeast of Ames. It is moving toward the north, northeast at 30 miles per hour. Uh, moving toward you folks in La Homa. Go, come on, it's coming this way. 
35. Folks, if this approaches you, remember your tornado safety precautions, basement or interior bathroom, your very best places to... of golf ball size. We have a very active mesocyclone to the west with uh, a funnel cloud a while ago, uh, rotating rain curtains, uh -oh. an F-Zero on the ground. Look there, there it goes. Tornado on, right on the ground, we have a large mesocyclone immediately to our west through north. We have a... Uh, look, 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 there it goes, tornado on the ground, tornado on the ground, tornado on the ground. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ahead of us, ahead of us, ahead of us. God, no joke. No oh joke. Oh That's positively a tornado, what? Right in front of us, another one, another one, another one. Uh, we need to, we need to jump ship. It's, it's, it's coming. Oh my gosh, we're going to my boat. Across the street, down the street. Oh my gosh. We have, we have multiple, multiple, we have multiple vortices here. F, F zero. The one down there. Look, 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 look at the one down there, look at the one down there, oh, Michael. It's cranking. It's cranking, look. We have one immediately here, about 100 yards to our southwest here also. There's another one coming in on the top of it. Uh, here it comes. <laughs> get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, no, it's on the ground, look how strong it is. Look at it, it's on the ground. Multiple vortex on the ground. There's one to the north of the road, we got one south of the road. It's one south, almost has, oh, look at that one, Mike. Mike, Mike, just turn into a big one. F1, F1, no, stop. Not yet, not yet. We're not, we're not far enough ahead of it yet. F1 tornado, due west. Oh my God, come down the road. Oh God. Okay, let's let's shut her down, no, Scotty. No, no, no. <laughs> it almost got hit. Great, man. Multiple vortex. Oh my gosh, it's increasing rapidly! It's increasing rapidly! I see strong winds coming around, it's increasing rapidly! Oh look, it's cranking! It's increasing rapidly! I see strong winds rotating rapidly around it! Oh, it's cranking. What about a F1? F1. Tornado warning continues for the Laverne area. We're going to take you live via phone with Bill Mitchell in the Laverne area. For all the people in the La The third member of the Tornado family formed at the edge of Tampa. TV meteorologist Mike Morgan and his chase partner watched it rope out northeast of town. No service at all, okay? The flash was on. Wow, look at it dance. New Mezzo forming southwest. We're now west of Miami, and this will come straight toward us. Big cone forming probably on the ground out of a new wall cloud right now. And on 282 west of Miami, this is going to come right toward us now. Oh, this is going to be nothing but incredible. This is going to be the most incredible thing ever. Oh, God. Here it is. And we can go right back west, too. I love it. Oh, this is going to be incredible. Oh, this is going to be... Un there it goes. Tornado on the ground. About eight miles west of Miami on the ground. Eight to nine west on the ground. There it goes. Coding out. It's on the ground. Fairly on the ground. On the ground. There's a car down there. There's, there's a car down there. Right in it. Right in it. It just crossed the road.
Look at the debris. Look at all the debris. Look at all the debris in the air. Folks, please, we think of you. Standing. I do not know how that house is still standing. It is a big egg beater. It's exactly what it is. Oh my gosh, Brian, look at it. Yeah, it's getting huge. It is getting here. Right here. Yeah, here it is. Overlook, right here. Right here. Yeah. Uh, that's a plant. That's a plant of some sort, a yeah. gas plant. And it's it's sitting right there on top of the gas plant. It's moving west northwest where the tank has been damaged. Wrapping up in rain. I have some incredible video, Brian. Yeah. In absolutely unbelievable video. Oh Lord, Brian. Better, 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 better. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look. Thing like oh gosh, we're here. A four wheel drive? Yes, we're in four wheel drive. No, we're in four wheel drive. I just don't want a mezzo to form over our heads. This yeah. is what we'll have to keep watching. Maybe we will get stuck. Yeah, we're not going to do this. Okay. This is slush city. Okay. I, we can get out of it because it's four wheel drive, but we're not going to take this road. We're not going to take this road. Oh, this is un this is unbelievable. Hey, going north, Brian, is there any is there any option that goes west if uh, we go north? Let me get my book here. It is absolutely, we're waiting for a new, if a new meso forms, it's going to form pretty much right, watch out for those bar ditches, pretty much right on top of us, if a new meso forms, I have a little bit of trouble here, but I think we'll be all right. New meso form in southwest here, green curtains. Okay. They look at my mouth. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Okay. On your radio. Oh, it's going to do it. Brian's going to do it. Okay, it's a little slushy. I'm going to slow down here a little bit because it's a little bit slushy. Near the boundary of cooler air to the north, they waited in vain for more tornadoes to form before heading south to another supercell near Allison. As we shall see, that wait may have saved their lives. Cattle guard. We are in tornado damage here. Trees are down. Trees, trees are down. I've got to shoot this. My gosh, we are in major F4 tornado damage here on the road. Uh, it's right. It's moving. It's, it's to our northeast. Yeah. Power lines down. Power lines down. F4. F4. Oh, power lines down. Power li trees are trees are shredded everywhere. Trees trees are shredded everywhere. F F4 tornado here. Quick update for you on that tornado in Allison. It is now reported to be a mile wide. Oh my God! Moving off to yeah, the northeast about at about 30 miles an hour. So again, in the uh, Texas Panhandle, Wheeler County, a large tornado. Power lines are down everywhere. Reports tell us near Allison, big over here, northeast, okay. at about okay. 20 miles an hour. Stay with There's us. There's debris all over the place. Mile wide tornado. We just it's just to our northeast. Strong southwest winds. God, Brian, we came in right behind it. Yeah, the got in its path. A little bit of toast. Oh, wow, that might have been a good one. You got that one. That was the last great vortex chase. It may take five to ten years to search all of the raw data and locate all the clues that will lead to new ideas. Hey, Mike, smile! <laughs> is now in the wheat field. Okay, the main tornado is just to our northeast. It's submerged. Straight north? Yeah. It's, it's okay, Morgan? Seven miles. It's seven miles north of here, Shukaton? Yeah. Okay. Nine mile also. That's okay. Good. You there? Yeah. Okay. Do you want a PVT or video? I'm trying Same to do... Miles, you say that's okay. okay, okay. Hang that's on, hang on. Uh, I'm a blast west. Here's the road. I'm going to blast west. I'm going to blast yeah, west. Go, yeah, let's, go, let's let it go right in front of us. It's right real here. close. Let's see how close we can get. There's no, there's no structure, so we shouldn't be having any much debris problem. Let's get real close to it. This is yeah. Petrovsky. Yeah. I got video okay. of it going right in front of me. Just stand by. I got another PBT. Here, we're shooting video. Yes. We're testing phone line. Keep the machine. Continue 
sheet video. Yes. Just watch the video. I, am. I got it. Make sure it's steady and perfect. I got it. Look at it, just growing. Morgan, it's now almost a half to three quarters of a mile wide. It's moving right toward the town of Yukonton. Four miles south of Yukonton, it's going to hit Yukonton, Kansas, right on the border. Yukonton, Kansas is right in front of me. It's a, it's a half a mile to three quarters of a mile wide. It's now larger. It's now larger than Billings. It's now heading toward the town of Yukonton. Yes, it's, it's yeah, well, it's like four miles south, moving right toward him. It's speeding up. I'm going west, right toward it. Yes. Very carefully. Yes. It's about three miles north. There is a town called Woods. That's my Kansas map. That's my. Hang on, hang on. I lost my Kansas map. Three miles north. Go ahead. I'll go east and I'll get out of the rain. I'm going to go east and get out of the rain. Keep filming, buddy. Yeah, keep filming. It. Just keep I filming. Uh, Eddie, you there? Got it? I got it. The hot over there. Ryan, shut your door for just a second.